Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarland Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Malefic Spawn. This is the second version of Spawn that we're getting from the Mortal Kombat 11 line. Been seeing a lot of Spawn lately. Definitely not complaining about that. Uh, this guy looks pretty cool. Let's just get him out of here. So taking a look at him here, uh, I believe the idea for this design is that uh, Todd basically asked the the Mortal Kombat team to design a version of him that kind of looked like uh, as if he had been a Mortal Kombat character all along. So you can definitely see some sort of inspiration, kind of, you know, uh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero type, kind of uh, Raiden um, type details that make him look uh, kind of like, you know, very uh, like a warrior priest um, or like some sort of um, dark, you know, uh, spiritual... Uh, sort of figure. First big thing to notice, obviously, is that this is just the same cape as the original um, Spawn, so, which isn't my favorite thing in the world. It's not completely terrible. Big differentiation in the color here, obviously. And um, I, I also got to say, it, it feels like this, this has a lot of um, paint on it compared to recent McFarlane figures, especially some of the multiverse ones. Um, so that's pretty nice to see. Although it's it's so vibrant, it's it's um, shockingly vibrant, and um, and I think the lack of a wash kind of hurts that that cape and and that red almost it pops a bit too much, um, in my opinion. But the silver the silver looks really good. I might, uh, it's nice that they've got real silver paint instead of just a unpainted uh, gray plastic. Uh, but I gotta I feel like. Um, there's there's a th this figure's a bit at odds in some of its rendering of textures like um like you got stuff on his um uh tunic here you know with these little um textures and details and then you get up to like this silver stuff and it's almost it's just a little too plain uh, by contrast uh, so let's just move him around uh, really great up and down look Cock, cocks his head both sides that's nice um you know what these arms let's just look at them yeah no surprises there um it's the same arms from the elbows up on both sides yep um Basically, same hands. It just looks like some slight modifications. You know, they removed this um, uh, knuckle duster thing on his hands. And then, yeah, same legs above the knees, it looks like. Which isn't the end of the world for me. I, I, don't, mind, I don't mind that if they use bits and bobs, you know, here and there. That didn't really. Uh, didn't bother me too much. It's just worth noting. Uh, he's got the butterfly. He's got nice shoulder clearance, but he didn't go up any higher than that. These a lot of times the shoulder pauldrons will be movable. These aren't. These are rigid. But he's got those shoulders. He does have um, bicep cut as well. I think basically just because it's, um, the last one did. Uh, and then double elbows, but not a huge range. Um, and you can see he's got really big beefy arms and then these um, gauntlets are even, uh, or they're almost just as large as, um, oh, you know what? I just noticed this is cool. That, that's like a, looks like a sort of a bird skull or something like that. That's pretty rad. Um, he's got big, big pythons and then his, his gauntlets are pretty cumbersome as well. So the range isn't great. And that's the kind of thing where, um, I know it sounds crazy, but if the arms aren't going to have much more than 90 degree, just make them single and they look better. And then they, and then they have that swivel in there too when they do the, the single elbows. I, I think they're in some ways they're preferable uh, to the double elbows um, as far as the look um, and then as far as the functionality as well, especially when they've got just really big freaking cannons right there that get in the way of them actually using that double elbow. 
But again, they're kind of just, they're locked into that first um, Mortal Kombat spawn they did here with, with some of the arms and stuff. So it is what it is. It's got a little bit of tilt, a little bit of crunch. It's not, it's not super um, dynamic movement, but, but the waist moves and the torso moves as well. So, you know, I, I, I do wish we would get a little bit more out of these um, diaphragm joints in terms of like crunch and stuff, but for my money, I, I still think they're better than um, Legends, Black Series, anything else like at this price point. Um, I just, I, I prefer the, the look and I prefer the, um, just again, the functionality, like I said, you know, that Marvel Legends, you can't do that because they have this big nasty, like hinge thing in the middle. And then the waists are just like flat cut. So when you, when you, when you turn the waist, you just see flat plastic. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where I judge things like that. Um, he's not going to do side splits too much because of these big uh, pieces of his tunic that hang down. He's not going to do much kicking forward and back either. I mean, he, you know, he's he's got some, but it's not. And then maybe, I don't know, you know, you, you push it, you know, within what you think is reasonable. You know, just try to feel it out and be be aware and you can... Maybe get more than you think, especially with one at a time, one leg at a time. But yeah. Um, the double, double knees work really well. Very well. No rotation from the hip. That's a little unfortunate that they're locked into these legs from that last spawn because, um, Cabal and Noob Saibot both had amazing, uh, just really well done um, thigh cuts that were they were just invisible because the sculpt was uh, covered him so well. And he doesn't have that, so it you know feels like a step backwards from the the last couple figures. But um, you know the feet work the way we've all come to expect. They got a little bit of tilt and twist like that. They're on ball joints. They got toes. Nice details on these cuffs around the leg. Really nice leather grain um, and cool looking. Uh, you know, I've said this before. Uh, I do feel like the like modern Mortal Kombat characters tend to be a bit over designed. Um, and this, this, I, I like this. This feels like Mortal Kombat 3 era a bit to me. Um, where the, the designs were getting really out there, but they weren't quite like just um, like texture overload and, and and so many little bits and bobs and details and doodads and stuff that they were just like became over designed. That's how I feel the, the looks have been trending since like um, 10 and 11. Anyway, he comes with two Necro Energy um, accessories. This one's a reworked version of, of one that came with um, Kickstarter Spawn. Can you see that? It's just like the same thing. It's just got a little extra um, little doodads kind of poking out. This one, I believe, is new. I think. I don't really don't. It doesn't feel like one that came with Kickstarter Spawn. The handle part does. Um, and obviously the handle part is like identical on both of them. So they basically, I think, took the <clears throat> the 3D sculptures and, and just uh, re like tweaked them, reworked them a bit. They fit into his hands. Um, well, like so. Pretty nice, pretty ingenious. Um, let's see here. Uh, they go in his hand like so. You can play with kind of um, how these wrap around his Hand, you know, you could put it in upside down maybe and get it to wrap around in kind of a different way. Play with um, play with that a little bit. In general, a pretty cool, <clears throat> pretty cool accessory. And it, it reminds me, I'm 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 gonna talk about this more when we get to wherever, whenever they decide to um, do that, launch that um, 
medieval spawn Kickstarter. I'm going to make as much noise as I possibly can. They have got to do a um, counter, like as an accessory, like a, a, a power meter, you know, counter like spawn has. I got to get one that they got to make one of those as an accessory of some kind. But these are cool. They're, they're rad. Necro energy at spawn, right? So there he is with Noob Saibot and Cabal obviously belongs in there. Um, fits in pretty well with those guys. The, the, the colors are a bit bright, um, but these characters are a bit dark. So uh, I think those fit, he fits in with them. Here he is next to Gunslinger and Raven Spawn. I think he fits in with them pretty well too. I think they, these guys look like they belong together. They feel like they're of um, cut from the same hellish cloth, if you will. And then here he is with the first uh, Mortal Kombat spawn and the Kickstarter uh, modern spawn is what I've got here. I think he definitely fits in with these guys. If not as Al Simmons, maybe as more of like, um, like when spawn goes, when Al Simmons goes to hell, you know, and he kind of has to battle the, the many other um, symbiote outfitted uh sort of citizens of hell, like this kind of feels like one of Malbolge's, you know, um, troops or something like that. So I, I, I like, I like, I like the way he fits in with these guys. So there you go. Malefic spawn. Great time to be a spawn fan, honestly. Um, but if you're not a big spawn fan and if, if you're not a Mortal Kombat fan, uh, not a, not a ton of reasons to pick this up. Anyway, you see him in the store, make up your own mind, but I, I, I had fun with it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.